Good afternoon one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah and in this video I would like to show you or rather teach you how to write a threaded application that can read batches of file together from AWS S3. So what, what's the problem right now basically reading files from S3 you basically write, uh, get all the keys and then you're gonna say okay for each key you would basically make a call to read the file and then you would do certain operations. Well, that's fine for one, 10, 15 files. What if you have a million files on an AWS S3? This approach is not gonna work and it's totally inefficient. So in this application or in this sort of scenarios, or I would say real world big data problems, right? You wanna read data in bulk. And that is exactly what I'm about to show you uh, using Python and a thread. So the whole idea is basically to uh, define a batch size on a, let's say the batch size is 100. So what we wanna do is basically we wanna launch uh, threads uh, in the background and these threads are gonna start at the same time it's gonna read the data from an AWS S3 once the data is read in a thread once a thread is complete since thread is asynchronous we put the data into a queue and once uh, once we do a join object we access the instance variable of a class and we get the data from the queue and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that with a small code so let me show you the code all right so I have the code written, it's entirely object oriented, I'm, I'm you know, pretty well written. So I'm going to share the code with you in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the link, so don't worry about that. Let's understand on learning the concept. First of all, we define the imports, right? Uh, here I have uh, variables where you could add your keys for AWS, right? Bucket name. Uh, so in this class AWS S3, I have a class, uh, sorry, I have a method called get all keys. The whole idea of this, uh, this method is basically to iterate over a, a particular S3 folder structure and return all the keys in that particular object. So now you'll say, hey, how do we basically develop a threaded application? So the first of all, what I want to do is basically, I, I said that, hey, get all the keys from that particular folder. So you specify the prefix of a folder, folder structure that you want to crawl on AWS S3. So specify that and this right here is gonna get all the particular keys in that. It can be about 1000, 2000, 3000. It's gonna get all the keys and it's gonna store that as a list, as an array uh, um, uh, in Python. Secondly, we define a batch size. This means how much data you wanna read in parallel or how many requests. So here I'm saying that, hey, I would like to read 10 files from AWS S3 bucket simultaneously, right? Then what I do here is uh, I have two array called main threads and in instance. Main thread would basically store a thread object, right? And the instances is gonna store the instance of a class, okay? So now let's go to this class that's that does most of the heavy lifting for you. So this one right here is developed for reading JSON files. So as you can see here, uh, it takes a file name and in the constructor, I have defined a queue object. Now in the get function, what we are doing is basically we are creating an instance of a class AWS S3, providing it a file name, right? So this right here is going to get the file from AWS S3 and the file is gonna be basically, as you know, sorry for the noise. This right here is going to get the data from the AWS S3. Uh, the data uh, stored in the file is a JSON uh, string. We have, so we need to serialize it back into JSON. We use the json.loadS method. Once the serialization is complete, we put the data back to the queue and we return it, okay? And if something went wrong, we have to put the data in the queue as error. Otherwise, uh, your code would fail, right? Now the whole big idea was basically, okay, for each key, uh, keys in AWS S3, so remember uh, keys is an array of uh, several keys, right? So key1.json, I'm just like making up to show you how it's gonna look like. So this is how uh, keys look like, uh, key2, uh, let me comment out that one. So that's the key, right? What we're doing is for each key, we are saying that, hey, reader, we create an instance of our class AWS reader. Then we create a thread object. We append that thread object, object to a main threads array. And we also append the address of the class, or I would say in technical words, instance into an, into an array as well, okay? Now, what we do is basically, 
right here this is the code that would read the data from batches so we define a flush variable on the top data represents the thread object so uh, think of this as this data right here it would read the 10, 10 items here so thread one object thread two object and so on right this is gonna be list of thread objects json records right here is gonna be the address of the class where the you know the the instance address so it's gonna be some xx some 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 address right so i'm just making it up right so the total length of this array and this array has to be 10 because that's the batch size right now we say for thread in data so we start all the threads now actually now this when we say start it's gonna start all the 10 batches of a reading file from aws s3 and serializing back to json now we call the dot join method on dot on those um, 10 thread object which is right here so join basically tells the uh, software that hey you have to wait uh, for the data to complete in the background as soon as the data gets complete in the background we know that the data must be there in the queue right so we cannot access the queue object because we do not have instance that's why i was appending instance of class in an array right here now i say for instance in json record so this is the address of a class remember okay i say flush variable dot append so this variable dot append instance so that's the address and that's the address of the class remember so that means we are saying this and we want to access this attribute in the constructor so again i'm going to go down instance dot data queue dot get so that's going to get the data from the queue and it's going to append in the flush variable uh, which is defined right here so now once this loop is complete all the 10 records are populated here in the flush variable and and then for the next time again the flush is going to be null and it's going to repeat the process so this code right here can read data in batches from aws s3 this is a template code that i developed uh, 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 at my at my company for reading or doing some data processing and I, I really thought that i should really make a video and teach you guys how to read data how to read uh, files from aws s3 in parallel uh, using python and threads hope this was useful and if do you if you did really find this video useful i would expect to give i mean you know you could leave a likes on the video and if you have any more questions list your questions in the comments and you know i would be very happy to read your uh, your, your questions once again guys keep smiling keep coding keep working hard never give up and i would